Hi friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest and today I wanted to share with you my journal pages I created for the prompts from the Janet Nash live stream on Monday, July 10th. And I just showed things real quick right there, but don't worry, I will go through and let you know what the prompts were. And we have a quote from Little Pickles that I will share here as well. But first of all, um, I just wanted to tell you, you probably already know, but Janet has a live every Monday that anyone can join in, of course. And it's really fun. She always shares something that she's working on and, you know, chats with everyone who's there. And then she also pulls prompts. So it's five to six prompts. And there's always quotes that are shared by different um, members of the community that are there. So you can take those prompts, whichever ones are speaking to you, or you can use all of them and you can put them on a journal page. You can write the quote down to give yourself a positive message in your journal, but it's always a really good time. And if you can't make the live stream, that's okay too. She has the video up and you can just replay it and you can still do the prompts and participate, of course. So definitely check out Janet Nash. I'll have the information down below. And I am now going to tell you the quote and the prompts that were pulled. And the prompts were from Lynn, who was at Paper Hoarders Anonymous. She had sent Janet a postcard with prompts on it. And the prompts were, use watercolors, go monotone, crumple your paper, repurpose trash, and paint with your fingers. So as you can see, I am painting with my fingers here. And because of the monotone, I'm using all blue. So I'm just using what I had on hand here in my studio. And the quote that we had from Little Pickles was, when life gives you a rainy day, learn to have fun in the puddles. So my theme is a rainy day with some puddles. And that's what I'm trying to create with all these blues. And I'm going to put um, both Lynn and Lil Pickles' channels down below so you can check out their channels as well. They are always up to some really fun stuff. Um, yeah, so check them out. So everything was going pretty well with the finger painting, which by the way, I love to do until this. Look at that big blob that fell on there. So I was using the um, acrylic paints and mostly different like Ceram coat ones. I think it's like Delta, Delta Creative Ceram coat colors. But then I had this one, which was Craft Essentials. And that's the one that spilled everywhere because it's um, a paint that's a lot thinner. I think it's more, I don't know if it's a kid's paint. My kids got it for a gift with a, um, like a canvas and they received a couple of paints, but they never used it. So I kind of just put the paints over with my stuff and I thought, well, that's blue, but I didn't realize it was gonna blob out. So I have kind of a lot of that color, which I wasn't planning on. And now I'm just creating some little characters that can be playing in the puddles. So these are the little beasties that know what to do on a rainy day when you've got some puddles. You gotta get out there and you've gotta play before those puddles evaporate. Because sometimes they're just there for a little bit and then they're gone. And I'm trying to show you some of the things I am using. I don't always do that and I apologize. Feel free to ask me if I'm ever doing something and you're like, what is she using? I will do my best to remember and tell you. <laughs> um, so right there I am using a Pigma Micron and I wanted to use a blue ink so that way I'm still sticking with the monotone. I didn't even want to use black ink. I was like, I'm going to do blue and blue and blue and blue. So now I'm doing the crumple your paper prompt and I thought tissue paper is already nice and crumply and textured so I'm just going to crumple it even more and I'm going to layer it up there and hopefully it will look sort of like clouds or sort of a overcast sky so I have my dark blue tissue and then I have some 
tissue that I got in a sketch box. So I'm going to try to cover up. The only problem with the sketch box one is that it does say sketch box in black on it. And I didn't really want any black to show. So I'm going to do my best to try to cover up, either cover it up or fold the paper so you don't see the black text. So that way I'm not cheating. <laughs> And here I am. This is my little mini printer. And when you get the new pack of paper and you put it in, it has these little blue cards that you have to load face down. And then the card goes through and pops out the other side. So I decided that I could use that for the repurpose trash prompt because these normally I just recycle. Um, sometimes I keep them and do something because they're a good size for a tag. But sometimes I just have a lot of them so I recycle some but these ones I thought I can make a couple little clouds with them and I even have a cloud blue colored pencil right there that I'm using so that light light color so it's not white <laughs> trust me I want to use white so bad on this page like somewhere because I felt like there was so much blue everything's blending together and I was like I don't know if you can even tell what's going on but I just kept going you know, I, and then I'm just sprinkling. Now I'm sprinkling some of my India ink on there. It's an iridescent blue color. And that is a little tricky because once you have dry acrylic on there, the ink just kind of wants to sit on top, but it does dry eventually, um, especially on a hot day, if you can put it out in the sun. And now I'm just going in with a little more light blue acrylic because I really wanted to try to define the clouds a little bit. I feel like you couldn't tell where the clouds were, the rain was, the ground was, the puddles were. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, I'm trying different things is really what I'm doing. Like now I've got a marker. So I'm like, I'll try that. Here we go. I've got my um, crayons there. I'm like, I'm going to try these. And those worked well because you can actually see that light crayon color. And I do like the texture that that gives. So I was trying to do some grass down there and kind of outline these puddles that are there. And I do always love how this crayon looks. It's a really cool effect. And what am I doing here? I got another crayon. So I'm just trying, I have three blues in the set that I have. So I just tried all of them to see what works. And the lightest color worked the best. You could see that the most. The other ones were okay. You couldn't see them as much. And now I'm using my watercolors because that was another prompt. And that works out for me because I usually wind up using watercolors anyway, so perfect. And again, I'm going to use all blues and I'm using my Koi watercolor pocket field sketch box set. And I'm just going with the blues that are there. You know, it's like a cobalt, ultramarine, indigo, and I think a couple other ones. It's a pretty good selection. I like this little set. It's it's really a nice watercolor set for um, bringing anywhere. It's a lot easier to get on my desk too than my giant palette that I have that's, you know, I love it, but it's big and it can be a little bit awkward. So here's my happy little beasties. We're gonna paint those, I'm gonna cut them out, and then we're gonna glue everything down. So let's get the clouds on there. And I have to get the quote on here as well. I can't forget the quote. So we've got our clouds. Now we've got our beasties. And now I'm trying to add more paint because I really want you to be able to tell that they're playing in these puddles and they're splashing back and forth. You know, there's water spraying up, spraying at each other. You know, the little creature on the right side there and the duck, they're having a little splash battle over there. Um, and I thought, well, let's try this modeling paste. I'll take a little of the paste and I'll add in a little bit of paint and then I'll see if I can define these splashes a little bit more and um, see how that goes. And I do like how that came out. I feel like that that was a pretty good idea. I mean, I had a lot of ideas and I feel like some of them, you can't really tell that I've done that but I did like how the splashes came out and then I just am going in with some different things just trying to make some definition I felt like the puddles got lost down there so I was trying to outline those a little bit 
And there we have our quote. I've got to put that in there. And I was just seeing if I could outline it a little bit. I thought it almost looked like one of the little clouds. It's a little different, but it's kind of up there. And then I just wanted to see if I could get some more definition. So I'm using a couple of Posca glitter pens or glitter markers, acrylic uh, paint pen markers. And if nothing else, they add a lot of shine to the page. So a little bit of definition and some glittery shine, which I always appreciate. And with that, our page is done. We've got all of our prompts on here. We've got some happy little beasties on there just playing in the puddles. And I don't know if you can tell they're puddles, but, <laughs> but I've done my best. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have an awesome week and I will see you again soon.